Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Landscape uh, Torment. We checked out some more places around the last time, talked with a few more people, and yeah, I checked uh, the journal a bit, and I really want to find the marketplace around here somewhere, supposedly, hopefully, I really hope for. Rock Picker Square. This place is huge. It's really huge. Oh, that's a very nice thing. But Clerk Sword. Oh my god, we're going in a completely different direction. Also, the map looks really cool. Uh, so, let's make a quick run back. I'm gone. Yeah, I'm gone. I hope so. Go. Go. Why can't you? Why can't you go? I clicked. Okay. So. I'm gone. Let's make our way to the clerk's ward. Alright. Um, but. But. Yeah, exactly. Where's the passage to the clerk's ward? Is, is this actually the one? But this is the one where what? I came from, right? Chief, yeah. I won't fail you again, I swear. So how do I'm one gone. gets to the clerk's ward? Maybe actually there is more here than just mortuary entrance. Is there? How do you get to Clerksford then? Do I have to take the southern district route where the guys from the gangs tried to stab me during our first uh, run around the sigil? It would seem so. Open tomb, Angier's house. Yeah, there's just Shlandra's here. Yeah. First, actually, let me check, because I wonder if Shilandra can actually help Ingress. Uh, Ingress being the poor uh, girl who lost her hand and is trying to find a way to portal herself back home. Oh yeah, I saw this hug. Uh, this hug. Uh, nope. <sighs> Damn it. So we're not the planeswalker we need. But yeah, of course, we have to take care of you guys. Yep, yep, useless. Die. Oh, nice, critical hit. And Damn he blocked it. himself. Nice. Damn it. I'm gone. Money. Just a copper. You poor son. Okay, so let's make our way dangerously through the southern part. My, my way. And we'll try to just rush through there, because I'm paranoid a bit. Uh, let's even make a small save here. Okay. I'm gone. So, let's try to make our way through here. Uh, Watras. Watras Warehouse? Oh, and I left money from one of the deaders. Good. Let's see if Quatras Warehouse has something that we can buy. Oh, three fags waiting by the door. Isn't that amazing? And they want to attack me because I stood in one place for too long. And I oh, nice! That was a very nice crit. It was 12, so it was full damage that I could. Do. The that? bestest damage I could deal. No, 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 let's go. Damn it. Let them run for now, and we'll hunt, hunt them eventually. But we have we have gotten slightly better, I think. Just just slightly, no? What did he have? Why do they have only trash? I hope you can die and give me something better. Even money is better than, you know, rusty dagger. 
Oh my god, why do they have to run? Oh, and this is the better one. Okay, let's focus our efforts. He's just one, so maybe we can do this. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, like, he hits every time with such a big damage. No, 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 we can. They're super tough. Really freaking tough. Okay, let's get to the warehouse while nobody is there. Oh, pizza I. Huh. Oh. Oh no, it's just a warehouse, so nobody's here. I guess. Oh, Batra. Do you have anything to sell? Moving from box to box, this man seems to be totally immersed in counting boxes and scribbling results down a piece of parchment. He looks annoyed as you interrupt him. What is it now? Can't you see I'm busy taking inventory? Go bother someone else. Uh, oh, I was told to deliver this box to you. Nice, so he's the one. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Let's see what you got for me. I'm sure it will need to be inventoried. Mar told me to give this to you. As you hold the box out for him to take, Quatra's expression turns from one of interest to that of intense horror. No! Please! Get it away from me! I don't understand. Why are you afraid of this box? I said get back! Death! Evil! Had to dupe Mar! Couldn't take it anymore! Please! Talk, take to Brasken! Leave Southwest! I mean, no! Apparently the sight of the box is just too much for him as he runs screaming from the building. Wait, what am I supposed to do with... Updated my journal. Oh snap, what did we get ourselves into? Is there anything to rummage through? Any stuff to pick up? <sighs> As always. Why do I have to run butt naked for this game? Uh, where is the exit? As always, I have problem finding an exit. Can you just let me go out? Oh, oh, oh. Like, how can you tell that this is the exit? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to fight with anyone. Yeah, let's let just let just run. Actually, let me for. Uh, should I use one of the bandages? I have five hit points, so uh, preferably I will survive one hit. <laughs> and actually, this is tattoo tattoo parlor. That sounds sounds cool. Okay. Uh, what is this place? Smoldering corpse bar. Yeah, I have to run because uh, the opening the map does not stop the game. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're running to the tattoo parlor. Uh, but yeah, I still have not found any way to make into the clerk's ward. How? How? I just want to buy armor. <laughs> I want to feel safe again. Oh snap. Uh, well, I guess since I'm already here, let's talk to the tattooist. You see a dabus, but something about it strikes you as odd. It has the same shock of white hair, the same greenish cast to its skin, the same pair of goat horns. Then you suddenly realize this one is walking on the ground, not floating. For some reason that makes you uneasy. Uh, I had some questions for you. The double waits. Who are you? The double inclines his head slightly and the lone symbol appears above its head. It's a blurry at first, then resol resolves into a white oval with a black lightning bolt through it. For some reason you know the double has a name. Its name is Fel. I feel like I know you, Fel. Fel bows reverently and the stream of symbols swirl about its head, rotating clockwise then counterclockwise. You have to guess at some of the symbols, but you think he said something about this not being the first time you have come to this place. Do you know who I am? Another series of symbols materialize quickly and sharply into focus above Phil's head. The symbols are not as difficult as the others. You think he said he knows you, but he cannot say any more than that. Why not? For a moment there is no response from Phil, then a stream of rebuses appear, as if trickling out of Phil's mind. You think he's saying he's sorry, but you can translate the rest. I see. I had another question for you, Phil. Uh, what is this place? A slow train of symbols materialize around Phil's head. 
The symbols take several moments to resolve, starting with simple lines, then fleshing themselves out, uh, out into breathtaking colors. You're guessing at some of the symbols, but you think he's an artist. And this is a tattoo parlor. Can I see what tattoos you have? Okay, so this is actually a freaking shop where we can uh, get ourselves some tattoos. But it seems everything is super pricey! Uh, gosh darn it. Oh nice, plus one to armor class. That seems cool. And those are some much, much better ones. Uh, plus three to base hit points. Plus one to charisma. That's something pretty nice for me. Huh. Okay. What can I actually sell you? Because I have some stuff I can sell. Uh, of course. Uh, oh no, this one no. But the copper ring I can sell. Can I? How do I actually sell things? Buy sell. Um, do I have to drag it somewhere? Why can't I? Oh, he's just not interested in buying stuff from me, it would seem. Gosh darn it. Yeah, I can't sell him Black Squad. And so I can't... I can't really... do anything. Ay 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 ay. I can identify stuff, but they are already identified, so... I'm gone. Ah, not good. Not good. What do you have here? Oh! Oh, wow! Nice! Human skin has been stretched across these wooden frames. The skins are covered with tattoos. Okay, it's not really comfortable that those are human skin, but... Uh, cool, I guess. His atelier. Okay, so I guess that's that for now, Phil. And I still have no idea how to make my way anywhere else in this gosh darn city right. of portals where everyone is trying to attack me on sight. Oh no, oh no. Oh. What you first took to be a door in this arch wall is actually a painting. The artist has made use of the shadows of the over hanging arch and some subtle texturing effects to give the door the illusion of substance. Cool, but I need to hide. Let's examine those. Other than the skill of the artist, there is nothing remarkable about the painting. The door has been painted on a rough stone wall. You can feel the stone and mortar beneath the painting with the texture. Leave the door alone. Cool. Oh, snappity snappity. Gosh darn it. I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. Oh, 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 maybe. Maybe. Let me check. Oh, those are the three fags we'll have to take care of. Black and red. It's it's good to know. I mean I'm making a quick jog around the around the city. Is there any way to like cross the streets? Cross the No? Okay, so there is Nothing? No way of going anywhere else. Amazing. <sighs> this is bad. This is pretty bad. Can... No! Wow, like right now, everyone in this zone wants a piece of me. What is here? Can I... Yeah, I can cross somewhere. Where am I this time? Okay. On the world map, I'm still in this part of the hive. Oh my, yeah, navigating through the city is a nightmare. I'm gone. What is this place? Can I can I find one office of vermin and disease control? Okay, we can turn out our uh, rat tails here. If 
I remember correctly. Uh, you see a squat, squat man with rash covered skin and several postules covering his face. His clothes seem to mark him as some sort of an official, but they are dirty, wrinkled and covered with red hair. As you watch, he idly scratches himself with his stubby fingers. Greetings. Aye! The little man shrieks and jumps startled. Clutching his heart, he takes a deep breath and pushes his, pushes his spectacles up on his rush ridden nose. Yes, yes, and what is it that, you, that I can do for you? He scratches his nose and looks you up and down, studying your scars. I uh, have little to nothing in the till, so if you have come to plunder the premises, the local is ill-chosen. I'm not here to plunder the premises, who are you? Uh, I? I am the respected Phineas Tillord the 39th in charge of this hive branch of the Office of Vermin and Disease Control. It is my distinguished privilege, he scratches his chest and puffs up, to inform you that we, in the bureaucratic sense of the word, we, meaning, to encompass the serial bureaucracy as a whole, are accepting bounties on all manner of vermin and strays that infest the, he scratches again, fair streets of sigil, hub of the multiverse and the city which sits at the center of all things, the city by which all other cities are measured. Bounties. Updated my journal. Yes, yes. We, in the bureaucratic sense of the word, we, meaning the compass, the sigil bureaucracy as a whole, are accepting tangible proof of the eradication of brain vermin, aka cranium rats, from the hive area where they have clustered quite thickly for the past many years, as a recent census of the vermin population has shown. I am empowered by the sigilian bureaucracy to pay a bounty of, he puffs up dramatically, one copper common per cranium rat delivered to my branch office. Uh, cranium rat. Cranium rats are a species of vermin that became more intelligent the more of them are in close proximity to each other. One cranium rat alone is but a nuisance that chews at boards and burrows into food but five, ten or more, and their intelligence grows until it surpasses even the intelligence of ones such as myself, scratches then sniffs disdainfully. I imagine that two or three cranium rats might be enough to outwit you, sir. Another comment like that and you'll be wearing your ass as a hat. <laughs> uh, yeah, that actually was pretty polite, you bastard. Phineas blinks. Your appearance seems to sink in at last. Hmm. I withdrew my most inappropriate comment, especially in light of your recent assertion of dominance and physical superiority in this social situation. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, how many cranium rats are in sigil? More than enough to last a bounty hunter a lifetime, perhaps several. Okay, I have had some other questions. Um, but yeah, I have some proof, so I would love to give it to you, but... How did someone as illustrious as you end up in such a place? Uh, well, it is quite an epic tale. You see, I was born here in Sigil. Uh, oh god. Oh. Oh my, that was an epic tale. Like... <laughs> Oh my god, it lasted for a full day! I love this guy. I stayed stayed here for 24 hours. And then I realized that I had, uh, that I had somewhat, somehow offended my colleagues for I found myself promoted to this branch office and have remained here for the past many years. He sighs and idly scratches his nose. Oh, oh I had some other questions. Hmm, and your questions would be... Tell me about this cranium rats. No, that was... Uh, yeah, no more questions. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I just I just want to give you... The, the, the rat tails. I mean, I have... Oh, this is just a rat charm, so I can use it as a rat tail. But no, this cranium rat tail charm is particularly filthy and smells faintly of vomit. The tail is stiff like a wire and it can be bent into different shapes. It would almost make a great lockpick, except it is too thick. Uh, yeah, so how can I give it to you, mate? I can't even put it in my quick items, so... Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's see what's in there. Yeah. So. 
a short break and I will check actually maybe the internet power will help me to see how can I sell those rat tails to him <laughs> 